Hi and welcome to this video. As some of you might know, the KSP2 developers have these weekly challenges where you have to do stuff. So the challenge was simple. Land on the Moon, leave a Kerbal Lord 2, land on another celestial body, I chose Minmus because frankly I'm lazy, leave another Kerbal, return to Kerbin, grab another rocket, retrieve the Kerbal on the Moon and then retrieve the Kerbal on Minmus and return to Kerbin. So to get the challenge on the way I started out with building a rover because I'm a very focused individual. I wanted to use a lot of the new parts so my plan was to use the new lander and one of the new payload section so that the rover could just drive out and give the kerbals on the moon something fun to do. I also wanted to use the new cockatoo as the vehicle to get a kerbal from the moon to Minmus and then return to Kerbin. As you can see, the lander had a mind of its own and didn't really want it to be connected to a cockatoo. Thinking a quick reload would fix it, I ended up in the ground. Nice. I finally got it to work and after building a first and second stage using the two new engines, the Lapa Doodle and the Mammoth 2, I was ready to slap some boosters on it and give it a spin. By the way, if you would like to learn more about all of the new parts in KSP2, I have another video on my channel where I do just that. So maybe give it a watch. Anyway. And here we are on the launch pad, ready for liftoff. However, shortly into the ascent, something passed by and I realized that the KSC had decided to join me on my adventure. I wasn't really a fan of it, so I reverted and tried again not realizing that maybe I should check if the KSC was still there. Because lo and behold it was. Not wanting to spend more time trying to figure it out, and seeing that my rocket was suddenly going backwards, I decided to push on and don't mind it. However, that was until I discovered that the KSC still has physics while flying sideways through the air. After restarting the game, I finally managed to launch alone. Now that there weren't any risk of sneak attacks by the KSC, everything else went as planned. I got into an orbit, I got an intercept course with the Mun and got into an orbit around the Mun. I separated the lander from the craft that was eventually going to take the rest of the Kerbals to Mimus and back to Kerbin. I started the ascent with the second stage and the lander and on my way down to the moon's surface I ditched the second stage from the lander. The landing went smooth and to my big surprise the payload section worked and the rover was able to get out. Perfect. I got a few kerbals out and got ready to leave them on the moon all nice and lined up and everything. The ascent went well until the craft suddenly started spinning. I was sure I would still be able to work it out, however I didn't. I quick loaded a save and by deactivating two of the engines I was able to get control enough so that I could get it into an orbit around the moon. After which I had to rendezvous with Kagatu, which would then take the Kerbals to Minmus and back to Kerbin. I managed to get an orbit that would intersect with Minmus's orbit. And then afterwards an intercept course. I took a few seconds to enjoy the beauty of the game. And then landed on Minmus. With a flag down it was time to leave a Kerbal on Minmus and get the rest of the Kerbals home. A quick escape burn from Minmus later and I had my crash course into Kerbal. I once again took a few more moments to enjoy the visuals and landed on Kerbal thinking I had deserved some dinner. Returning to the game I realized that it hadn't saved. Great, so we are on Mun again. This time leaving only one Kerbal as I couldn't be bothered with lining them up and everything. Okay, so I did it all again. I rendezvoused with the Kogachu, got lunch trying to board, flew to Minmus, got an orbit around Minmus, landed, landed and thought I should probably save. At this point I realized why it hadn't saved earlier simply because it wouldn't save at all. Now stuck with the terrible thought that if KSP2 crashed I would have to fly from the moon to Mimis again. After testing for a while I finally got it to autosave by deleting every single save file and waiting for some time. At least the game looks pretty. 
I wanted to make sure that everything was as it should be, so I checked the tracking station and saw that the Kerbal on the Moon had apparently disappeared. But not in the rover as it was still there. I had other things to attend to though, so I jumped back into the rocket on Minmus, left the Kerbal for the second time and set the course for Kerbin, landing safely. After landing safely on Kerbin, I was thinking, wow, I didn't knew that parachute sounds like whimpering dogs when being cut. It was now time for the second part of the challenge, but given that the Kerbal on the Moon had disappeared, I now only needed to go to Minmus and return home. Since the last rocket was quite large, I thought I would build a small transport vessel and hide it in one of the new cargo nose cones. A simple rocket under it and it was ready for launch. I got it into orbit, got an intercept course with Minmus, got an orbit around Minmus, and had a great descent profile that would see the vessel landing close to our Kerbal. And a small time warp later, and yet another Kerbal had decided to disappear. I don't know if he saw what vessel was gonna bring him home, or why he decided to book it. But he was nowhere to be seen. Anyway, for a challenge involving bringing stranded Kerbals back to Kerbin, there was now quite a lack of Kerbals to bring back. Anyway, having already spent way too much time on this challenge, I decided that I would at least enjoy the look of my little return vessel, so I released it and landed it on Minmus. Just to prove that had there been any Kerbal on Minmus I would have been able to get him home, I wanted to fly the probe back to Kerbin. Of course it flew like crap. Surprise. Eventually I got it away from Minmus and on a crash course with Kerbin. Thank god for no heat mechanics yet. After a quick little landing, I could finally call the first weekly challenge for done. Uh, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know down in the comments if you are doing any of the weekly challenges. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen!